Atlas. You know what this is, don't you? It's iconic. This might be the least recognizable version of it. But anyway, um, you know, when you ask people what they think of the best acoustic guitars, always on the list, every single list it seems like, is the Epiphone Hummingbird acoustic. Uh, of course, the Gibson equivalent made it famous, and it's just hung on there, uh, whether Gibson or Ep Epiphone, as a quintessential acoustic guitar for a lot of people. And I'll be honest with you, I've always felt like they're a bit overrated. It's certainly not my thing. I'm not big on the uh, uh, sunburst finishes, although they do this in black, or the um, rather ornate pick guard that's, you know, um, expected on these guitars. Uh, the hummingbird design, if you can see it. Uh, but I have to say, uh, receiving this one, which is the uh, Performer Pro, Hummingbird Performer Pro by Epiphone. Um, I'm slightly won over. Uh, first of all, Sitka Spruce Top, really nice grain. Um, Pal Ferro on the fretboard and the bridge with the trapezoid mother of pearl. These lovely vintage Cluson looking tuners with the uh, uh, tulip plastic perloid looking things, the uh, inlays there on the recognizable headstock. Uh, yeah, this is very Gibson-y, Epiphone-y to the core. New bone nut and saddle. Doesn't have a massive sound, but it's very articulate. All over the guitar, very clear. Depth. Yeah, but this is the um, you know sort of dreadnought cutaway slope shouldered version that's really made for um, uh, amplifying. It comes equipped with the new Shadow Nanoflex system with no cutouts or anything in it. Uh, it's just a single control. Actually, I feel too. There's this volume and tone in the um, sound hole there, so you have very little intrusion on the guitar. Um, that's supposed to sound better, uh, a bit like Guild's doing, although I think Guild uses Fishman, but it's the same thing, it's the inside the sound hole pickup, I think Ibanez is doing it as well, it's becoming quite standard. Um, these are made in Indonesia, and um, I'm not completely up on the uh, exact quality difference between the Epiphone versions and the Gibson versions, maybe some of you can enlighten me on that. I do know that Epiphone is, and Gibson are coming closer together. Uh, the Epiphone stuff is definitely going up. The prices are going up. Gibson's slightly coming down. So um, I'd be interested to hear from any of you that have a Gibson Hummingbird what you think the difference is. This is a very pleasant guitar. I can see why it sells in the 400, 450 price range. Um, you know, it's not super high end, it's just a good mid range guitar, and I like this electric version of it um, and the uh, electronics that they put it in, into it. These shadow systems are great. I've had them before in other guitars, and uh, they're very good at transferring the acoustic sound to electric. Um, you know, um, you know, there's there's religious parties on this. Some people love the Fishman electronics. Some people love the Shadow. I like both. I think they're both uh, excellent systems. Um, so anyway, you know, not my not really my thing with the vintage tobacco burst, would you call that? Um, but definitely, you know what it is when you see it. It's a very recognizable guitar, and that's half the game, isn't it? It's producing something that people can recognize and, and um, name. Um, so this is nice. Uh, I'm sure that it will go fairly quickly once I list it. And I might see if I can get more from the supplier I got it from. I didn't do any setup to this, folks. This, there's no setup to this at all. It came 
uh, with the fret ends perfect and the action just right. So uh, that's impressive given all my recent problems with other brands. So this was a nice change. If you want to hear it with a pick. nice um, pleasant to play guitar so this is the iconic uh, Epi epiphone hummingbird this is the uh, performer pro looks like ps model so it's slightly different from the dreadnought the the, the more recognizable dreadnought version it's got the, the cutaway maybe slightly thinner profile width guitar width and then of course the shadow system with the sound hole controls. All right, folks, see you next time.